Discord is not even trying to hide it. On their main website, we can see that they use social media trackers. Guess what? It's Facebook. Any person with common sense should be asking right now, why are there Facebook trackers on the main page of Discord? But it's not only Facebook. Chinese tech giant Tencent made massive investments into Discord. At the moment of recording this video, Tencent has at least a 38% sharehold in Discord. I should not need to explain this, but for those of you who don't know what Tencent is, it's one of the biggest tech giants that exist, and they are aggressively acquiring smaller businesses. Not too long ago, I used to be like most people, downloading and installing Discord from the official website, but then I noticed something suspicious. I assume everyone using Discord knows about the activity status setting. The thing is, if you turn that off, this only stops Discord from showing other Discord users what program you're currently using, but it does not stop Discord from constantly tracking what programs you are using and possibly even sharing this data with other companies like Facebook, Google and Chinese Tencent. Another thing to keep in mind is that Discord permanently stores all chats on their servers, meaning if you delete a chat you are only hiding it from yourself but not from the people who have access to Discord servers. So what I did to minimize the spying that Discord can do to me and blocking them from tracking what programs I use is installing a separate browser that I only use to log into Discord while having uBlock Origin as the only browser extension. However, since a month I'm now using WebCord, as this has turned out to be the best solution over privacy concerns regarding Discord. I even asked the developer of WebCord how his program compares versus using Discord in Firefox with uBlock Origin. Here is what he responded. As of blocking tracking methods, I've tried to make it transparent what WebCord does, and a lot happens, even more than in uBlock Origin. The main differences are well, if you want to read the full reply, you can pause the video right now. Taking a look at the license of WebCord, it is open source and in general very positive. Again, if you want to read the full license, pause the video right now. So, if you are wondering how to install WebCord, well, it's simple. Download the official WebCord from GitHub, click on Releases. If you are on Windows, click on Show All Assets. Now find WebCord win32-64.zip. After downloading WebCord, make a new folder and extract the archive there. If you don't have any compression software, get 7-zip. It's free and the link is in the video description. After extraction, the file size is around 240 megabyte, so that shouldn't be an issue for anyone. Now what you should do next is right-click on webcord.exe, select send to and create a desktop shortcut. You can now start WebCord and log into your Discord account. Here a screenshot from WebCord inside of Portmaster. All the connections made are going to discord.com, so the program is seemingly legit. Now inside of WebCord there are a few settings you should take care of. At the top left click on File, then click on Settings. For API blocking I enabled all options for the best privacy. Under Permissions, I've only allowed what is really necessary for me. Under Content Security Policy, I've disabled all options, as I don't trust any of the listed sources. So I hope I have convinced some of you to check out WebCourt. It's a free program, it protects your privacy, it basically works the same way as Discord does, so if you are already using Discord right now, why not switch to WebCourt, you know, you have nothing to lose. It's a good thing to do, so go ahead and check it out. The last thing I want to mention in this video is Mr. Moon. He made a very interesting video about Discord. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it. The link is in the video description.